Good afternoon, JCPS. Happy Friday. Hope you had a good one, students. I know you had a short week uh, and hope it was a very productive week. Thanks for all your work. Today we are shooting from the JCPS studios, my weekly wrap-up, doing a couple other videos for communications and thought I would bring the weekly wrap-up from uh, the JCPS studio. Teachers and staff, thanks for a great gold day as we started the week. Professional development is so important. A focus on continuous improvement, making sure we're getting better. Thanks to all schools who provided great gold day activities for our teachers and staff. And thanks to all those teachers and staff that attended the Equity Institute. I attended the afternoon session. We had both a morning and an afternoon session. Had great speakers and sessions at the Equity Institute and had over 2,000 educators attend the Equity Institute. For those that didn't come, I'd encourage you to consider coming to the November Gold Day Equity Institute. Great work that is being taken on there, and thanks to Diversity, Equity, and Poverty for putting on that uh, great program, the Equity Institute, earlier in this week. Uh, but I just want to thank all of our staff and teachers throughout this district for a great Gold Day and focus on professional development. And then on Tuesday, teachers and staff, thanks for great parent-teacher conferences. Got a lot of positive feedback. I uh, went to a parent-teacher conference myself, as I'm sure many staff members did. Um, but uh, parent outreach is so important in engaging with our parents to make sure our children are successful. Really appreciate that commitment. Um, to uh, engaging our parents on Parent Teacher Conference Day from all of our teacher schools and staff. Also early in the week I got to celebrate the iPad Verizon grant, the innovation grant that we hosted at Newburgh with five of our middle schools that now have all of their students going one-to-one -one with iPads which is really uh, groundbreaking for us as we work through the backpack of success skills that make sure that all students have access to technology and the internet and all the students in these schools will have the opportunity for their students to have an iPad to do that important work with technology in class. Those schools are the W.E.B. Du Bois Academy, Lassiter Middle School, Olmstead North, the Academy at Shawnee Middle School, and Newburgh Middle School. So great work by all of those uh, staffs at that school and the leadership at each of those schools to make sure our students have one-to-one -one technology um, and are really able to do that important work with the backpack of success skills um, find those artifacts, put them in their backpack, and eventually defend their readiness um, for the next uh, transition, which for those students will be high school. Um, also, great week for me to get out into schools. I love getting into schools, talking to staff and students. Had three great visits this week. Conway Middle School, Shacklett Elementary, and Greenwood Elementary. Thank you for hosting me on these visits. Got to give away many shirts on the I Love My Job campaign to uh, those staff members who had been nominated by colleagues uh, because they love their job and they're committed and passionate and work so hard. So it was great to give out a lot of those awards on my visits to schools and be in classrooms. Definitely my favorite part of the job and I'm getting close. I'm getting closer to, to be at every school, uh, down to about 30 to go. Um, so I'm getting close and definitely uh, in the coming months I expect to have hit every single school in JCPS. And finally, the highlight of my week, without a doubt, uh, that uh, an event last night that truly inspired me um, and I said made me proud to be the superintendent of Jefferson County Public Schools um, was the book release of No Single Sparrow Makes a Summer through the Louisville Story program. And it's just, it's a fantastic collection of works by JCPS students and former JCPS students. Nine amazing women, powerful, strong women, um, that have told their story of perseverance and passion and education, um, their journey here to JCPS and through Iroquois High School. And it was just an amazing event to be able to hear the story of these young women. I would encourage um, each and every person seeing this to make sure to pick up a, a, a copy of this book at louisvillestoryprogram.org. Um, it will inspire you and it will really show you um, some of the resilience and passion of JCPS students, and without a doubt made me proud to be the superintendent of JCPS, one of the best events I've been to in a long time. So thanks to Louisville Story Program and those young women who inspired me to keep going um, in this work um, because uh, very passionate, resilient young women. So uh, you could tell busy week, but a great week uh, for us here at JCPS. Uh, looking forward to the weekend, get some rest, come back next week ready to go. Thank you, have a great weekend.